Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to Quest 64. Picking this up where we left off, I'm still in Larapool. Apparently this is where I'm supposed to go. And the the chick is supposed to be around here somewhere. Leela. She's supposed to be around here somewhere. If you're wondering how I know this, as I have mentioned, I am playing through this game with a guide to make sure that I do not miss any of the spirits. So, oh my god, what am I looking at right now? Um, so I think probably in here, I mentioned you just go down. And again, the guide is very tongue-in-cheek. This actually looks kind of like Ocarina of Time, to be honest. Nowhere near as good, but aesthetically. <laughs> hey, blonde prostitute Leela, how's it going? I've been expecting you. Release the protective water and open the road to the sacred water crystal valley. The cavern entrance will appear after the water has subsided. The cavern is very long and the demons numerous, but you must take this route for... because I, I fucking said so, that's why. I have to make sure you are a genuine magi magician. Epona will not let you ride her unless you prove this. She's a horse. All right, please hurry. The water will only subside for a short time. May the spirits watch over your way. Um... Was Ocarina of Time out before this game or after? Because, uh, if it was out before, then they really fucked up naming one of their characters Epona. Um. Is. Oh god, okay. Yeah, it's not like I actually need to be able to fucking see anything. Oh, hey, spirit! That's, that's really fucking random. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do water until I think it's 25 when I get healing level 2, and then I'll, I'll flip to something else. Oh, the water drained. It did actually drain. Okay. Um, yeah, this actually looks kind of Ocarina-esque. You know what I mean? Oh. What the fuck am I looking at? Okay. Um, this is a weird place. Oh, I'm fighting a chest. I do actually kind of remember this. You know, I'm actually remembering back to when I used to play this, and I think that this might actually be one of the hardest dungeons in the game. Like, I vaguely remember this one always giving me problems when I was a kid. Like, I think it's just, like, incredibly long, even though, like, the last dungeon I did was super fucking long. Like, this one knocks that one out of the park. So, yeah, I guess we're just gonna kind of... I don't even know if I'll finish it all in one episode. I'll, I'll you know, what, I'll, I'll do my best to finish this dungeon in this episode and come out the other side, and that's, that's where we'll start the next one. But don't hold me to it, cause if this is the one I remember, it's actually very cool to look at, but it's incredibly long and tedious. Not that most of this game isn't already long and tedious, but this one, this one is really something special. If it's the one I'm remembering, which I think it is. So I just realized that I was going the wrong way that whole time and I'm at a dead end. But I do now have healing level 2, I do believe, yes. Oh, and I, speaking of, I need to use it, so at least this will make life a little better when it comes to healing for me. I don't have to spend so much fucking time healing. Oh, okay, fuck, man. Fuck, man. I don't want to fight you. I, I just, I don't want to fight you. <laughs> it's a fucking cock god mother balls. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Two steps and an encounter. Great. Holy fuck. That was surreal. Okay, guys. So I've been recording for 45 minutes and this game is just killing me. There is no end in sight. No end in sight. It's so unforgiving. Jesus, yeah, large cutter, these bitches. 
Holy fuck, man. I went into this like on a bit of like a high from playing Super Mario Odyssey. And now I'm kind of on like an ultimate low of just like... From having played this for 45 minutes with zero progress. Jesus Christ, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I just want this dungeon to be done and over. And to be doing something else. To look at something other than these blue walls. Why is this my life? Why? <laughs> oh, stop missing. It just takes longer when you miss, Brian. Why do you do this to me, man? Why? Do you hate me? Is that it? Do you hate me? I hate you. Oh god, do I hate you. Oh my god. Holy fuck, guys, it's still going. I feel like I have made no progress. I've gotten turned around like 15 times. I think I just saw spirit. I don't know. It's so confusing. Oh my god, whoever designed this particular dungeon should, I hope, does not have a job right now. <laughs> That's the place they put me in. I'm really... I'm wishing... Oh my god. I'm wishing misfortune onto others because of how terrible this game is right now. Oh my god. Give me... Give, give me... Give me... Oh god. I was gonna say, if I spawn another monster fight just by running around trying to get the spirit, I would have lost my shit. God damn, Quest 64, what the fuck is your problem? Oh, oh, is this the end? Is this the end? <laughs> no, it's not the end. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, okay, this... I vaguely remember. This is the bit that I remember being very nice looking when I was a kid. Oh, no, this isn't even the bit that I remember. Fuck, and there's just more tunnel... Why is there more tunnel? There does not need to be more tunnel. Oh, more light, more light at the end of the tunnel, but it doesn't it doesn't lead anywhere. Oh god, how are kids supposed to endure this? This is like a fucking marathon, man. It's so boring. <laughs> It's so not interesting. I can't even commentate while I walk. There's nothing. It's giving me nothing. Oh my god. Why? Why? Why am I playing this? Oh great, a fight. Just like the 10 billion other fights. Okay, now this is the part of the game that I remember being very pretty. This is the part of the game. I also feel like this means I'm somewhat close to the end of this dungeon, which is great because I have no idea how fucking long this episode is. Could be an hour, could be five minutes. I don't know. I just want it to be over. <laughs> feel like I'm trapped in like a waking nightmare. Oh my god. It's almost done though. So close. So close to being done. We can do this. I got this. Oh, hey, I, I got an item. I think that's, like, literally the first time I've ever gotten an item from a fight in this game. I didn't even know you could do that. Okay. In fact, you know what, guys? As much as I'd like to keep playing this, I'm actually going to end the episode here. In the next one, we'll pick it up from here. We'll hopefully make it to the next village and do some progress. I just... I don't want to record anymore for the same episode. This one ends up extra short. I'm sorry. I literally have gone a little bit insane recording this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, it's not that bad, but yeah guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, my name is Rob Noir, and welcome back to fucking Quest 64. So this game, if you don't know, is one that I played when I was a kid. Yeah, uh, you know, he was being a bitch.
and that. I, I knew where we actually had to go, but apparently, you know, that the information doesn't matter. It's just authority, you know?